the first name in Ghana, West Africa, right here in December 2022, that we're going to call forward is Andre Osli, and he's known as Yao, born on Thursday. Production, bro. This is the day of reproduction. And you got some babies to produce, son. <laughs> Cheryl, welcome home. Introducing Brother Yao. Clap for him. That's the day of reproduction. We want some babies. You got children? No, sir. We're waiting. Come forth. Come forth. <laughs> All right? Go ahead, drummer. Born on Thursday. Right. Born on Thursday. Introducing to you Sister Yah. Born on Thursday. Yah is the day that God gave us the power to reproduce. Production, reproduce. I've had two born on Thursday that said the children are waiting to come. Now, now I don't think these are coincidences. We have divine synchronicities here, y'all. And let us know because we also have the ability to be a part of your reproduction, the production. You let us know. You let us know. If it's a husband that you need, we got those two. <laughs> Clap for her, y'all. Sister, y'all. Sister Karen Perez, it has been identified with due diligence that you are born on Friday. Another beautiful sister that is a homebody with an immaculate home, hosting people. People love to come to your house. You, you throw parties at your house? Cookouts? Backyard? You got a swimming pool? I used to. You used to. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of it. She got rid of it because she got tired of y'all coming to the house. House people got beautiful homes, y'all. Give it up for Sister and Four. Beautiful homes. My God, another Friday born. Call on Sister Myra Herring. Another Friday born. We already met and identified you as a beautiful home. Verifying. You can't make this up. Another beautiful home. We, we want to hear a story. We want to hear a story from you about your beautiful home. Give us, give us some love, please. I know it's, because it's, it's difficult. Please tell us, tell us one of, one of your experiences. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, we'll I was just going to say, I'm very social, so I love to host. Um, people love to come over. I have really a social circle, a lot of friends. So. That is what people on Friday do. They love to host. They got beautiful homes. You got a social circle. And sometimes, let me just say this to y'all. I'm also Kofi. Kofi, I'm born on Friday too. Uh, okay. Now let me show y'all this. I said that we have what, beautiful homes? Mm -hmm. Do y'all see my home? Yes. 
Is it beautiful? Yes, yes sir. Finish! I share your clap for y'all. Clap for stop my kid. That's my home. I'm so free. boys are smashing it. Monique Sanders is also born on Friday. Beautiful home hostesses, people who they love to host people. Wow, sis. You sometimes got to turn the lights off and make like you're not home, right? Because they keep coming. The family members keep coming. I used to do the same thing. I'm here in my yard all the time, and they got access to me all the time. And they come and say, is Nana here? I tell them I'm not here. I'm gone. I'm too much. I got a beautiful home, and so do you. Give it up for Sister F4, y'all. Finally, we got a brother that breaks the mold. The sister, Angel Perez. Come on, man. Born on Sunday. Life production. I already told you, these are the people that came down here. They are their producers. They are the ones that said, "Let's put our hands in the work." You give him the idea. You got you. You want to get something done? Tell him your idea. Give it up for Brother Kwasi. Born on Sunday. Born on Sunday. The first day of production. The female compliment that are also born on Sunday, Sister SC Esther Anand. Anand is one of our names. Sister Esther. You able to? Oh, yeah, Ghana, anyway. Okay. This is one of our family members that is also indigenous to our land who already has been born and indoctrinated in her name. However, She's also bearing witness that we are the same people. And the only um, thing that I would say is this. <laughs> While you were here, if I didn't hear you speak, which I haven't, I assumed that you was from the African diaspora. Didn't I? Didn't you also? I sure did. We thought that she was also from outside the diaspora. And that goes to show you that we are one and the same people. My family members was talking and everybody was trying to figure out who's figuring out and who you are and everybody talking about who each other are. But if you didn't speak, you looked like us and we looked like you. Proof that we are the same people. This is why this place is called One Africa. Introducing to you Ekusua Anand. Born on Sunday, a production person. And that's why she's also a part of the production team that make you to be here. Am I lying? You are part of the work that caused them to be here. Asheo! are representing, but when they start representing, Teresa Tompkins is born on Thursday. She's a production person. I wanted to 
had you uh, use something like a sports trainer because when I saw those calves, yes. uh, I thought that I said this system must be a sports trainer and that uh, your moves. And I saw you walking. So what what work do you do, Sister Young? Okay, no more need to be saying. She spent time behind bars. Corrections CO. officer. CO. That's why. That's why. Corrections officer. It says strength and power. Can you make this up? How many years did you serve as a correction officer? 20 years. Wow. At which, at, at which facility? God, my brother did 20, my, Rikers Island, New York City. What? You <laughs> over here in Ghana, West Africa. I got to send this clip to my brother, Hakeem, because he also did his 20 at Rikers Island. Hakeem, all the way over. My brother's been here many times, too. Now we got Sister Yah, strength and power to carry her to 20 years at, y'all know Rikers Island? Rikers Island. Sister, no, everybody, let's stand up and clap for this sister. This, 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 this. No, no, no. You did something, sir. You did something. 20 years at Rikers Island, and you are now at Dallas, West Africa, receiving your name that says strength and power. The only way, and she didn't know that's who she was, but the name described her before she knew. You can see how accurate people, African people are. We are accurate. Strength and power is what made you to go through those 20 years. Yeah. Applauding you, sister. Sister yeah. Yah. We will call you Yah Asantua. Yah Asantua. Asheo. Marcia Headward Morgan is also a born on Friday, a born on Thursday, powerful Yah Asantua. Strength and power. Strength and power. Strength and power. Now, Elder, uh, I noticed something about you since you've been here. Yes. You are kind of a quiet to yourself. Everybody else is sitting over there, and you're sitting right there by yourself. You're thinking, you're contemplating, and now I'm getting a chance to break conversation with you, and it says strength and power. Mm -hmm. So let me show you all what strength and power looks like. Strength and power don't mean you always talking and open your mouth. Those quiet ones is the ones you better be most careful of <laughs> because they're not quiet like you think. They are observing. Am I lying? That's true. That's right. When they have something to say, they're going to say it. They're going to say it. Where yeah. you from? Jamaica. Oh, come on. Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> now you already know. She's part of Warrior Club. Now you're in New Orleans, another, another one of our vortexes. Yes, yes. Quiet, simple, Easy going, yes, but y'all mess around, <laughs> yeah, and that's strength and power. You oh, so. make make don't don't make the mistake to say that these. <laughs> I already got you. <laughs> I got you. Give it up, sister Yah. <laughs> Lord have mercy, y'all. Y'all are going deep. Y'all are going deep. But well, Monty, I don't know, you got some new people. You got, you got the divine beings coming home. Y'all are being reborn again. Y'all are the ones from ancient Kemet. It's a wonderful group. Y'all are the people that are coming to break the mold. Y'all are the ones that are gonna stand up against the forces that's coming up against yeah. us. Y'all are the ones that's gonna make a change. We ain't all gonna be downtrodden by the new system. We know that there's a new economy. There's war, talk of war. We know there's a new change in economy and currency. But we are the ones that are staying in this circle, this family circle tonight, came over here with tours for Africa, for the Africans. And that's a real statement. Cause y'all are the ones. Look at this, another ya. Kimberly Davis, born on Thursday. Another powerful. Yeah, that's BK. Born on Thursday. Oh my God. Strength and power. I don't even have to ask. 
Where did you Where did you grow up in Brooklyn? I did it. That's oh, him. Man. I'm from Queens. Queens, from Brooklyn. Queens. What's the day? The same. Right. I'm from Far Rock. We know Far Rock. Rock What's up, Far Rock? Also, away. BK. I also grew up there. If you haven't heard, and we know what it sounds like to have bullets hit your skin. We know what it sounds like to have Star at City. Bowling balls throw off the top of the, the Brooklyn project. Queens connection. Plates. Every place got its hoods, but Brooklyn is the fourth largest city in the world. Am I lying? And we got every ethnicity in Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the world that is there. We grew up with them all. Black Bush. Jews, Hispanics. What's the red people called? Irish. <laughs> we went to school with them all. So we know how to communicate, handle. We've been to bar misfits. We know how to handle the world. We are the great people in Brooklyn that have, have the ability to meet the world's people. And we're mixed with some of them. Native American, isn't it? You know your tribe that you come from? Probably Mohegan or Monegs. Y'all know Monegs. You gotta turn the camera off, I tell you Monegs. <laughs> now that you know Monegs, no. I'm Catawba. Many of us that don't know what tribe we are, we just say Monegs. Okay. Gotta turn the camera off. <laughs> we, we, we tell them later. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to say that in front of the elder. Good I'll tell you later. But I couldn't say that in front of I respect my elders too much to say that derogatory thing that I say. <laughs> We just like to love and joke and have fun and dramatize what we do. Are y'all enjoying this? Yes, we are. Come on, another sister, y'all. Power and strength. Yeah. Out of straight up Queens, New York City. Another, now we now we broke the mold. We're going into some other stuff we can talk about. We got a sister that is born on Wednesday. And the event that happened on Wednesday is a beautiful event. The thing that happened on Wednesday is this, before I introduce the person. The event that happened on Wednesday is that's the day that the creative forces created the heavenly hosts. Right. What are the heavenly hosts? Look right up there in the sky, right there. That's one of them. See the moon, Busum. That is the day that the creative forces created the sun, the moon, and the stars for us to admire, to look up at, and to wonder, and to study, and to get guidance and counsel from. People born on Wednesday are called Ekua. Camilla Morgan is born on Wednesday. She is a person. Okay, I'm not joking, y'all. I'm not, I'm gonna, Camilla, come over here. Hold your certificate. Now, I'm gonna stand back. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Look at her. She's People born on Wednesday are the sun, the moon, and the stars. We look up at, and I have five children born on Wednesday. They are the sun, the moon, and the stars. And when I saw her, I said, did you make that outfit? She said, no, I bought it. I said, no, you did it. No, you did it. You created, she said, well, I did a little something. Uh -huh. Y'all are the people that people admire because you are so beautiful. We started studying the sun, the moon, and the stars because that was the most magnificent thing that we could see in the early days of creation. We admired that. We said, I need to study what that is. And people study you, they want to watch you. How you do what you do? I had to ask, how did you do that? You said, I bought it. I said, no, you didn't. You created that. These are the people that are the beautiful shining stars. Usually they are celebrities. Are you an actress, a poet, a dentist? You do you do something? <laughs> I just work. I'm a store manager. She's a store manager. Mm -hmm. And those people who own that store should be grateful to you because yeah. you bring okay. they come there for you. Oh, okay. They come there for you. You already know that, right? 
Sun moved the star, beautiful smile, beautiful everything, up and down. Clear for our sister. And who are? Where is they born? Beautiful. Akusua, we already uh, we, we already acknowledge that Akusua. Sometimes here, you know, we got different languages in the Akan language and names. So you could say Akusua or Mami Esi, Esi, Kwa Asida. These are also people born to do production work. Princess Osli, Princess Osli, Princess. Come on up, Princess. People born on Sunday, the first day of creation. You, all of the people that come down here, you, 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 you bring life and renewal. Renewal means you came down here to start a new world, a new creation. You, all of the people that ideas come into fruition because you are the ones that produce it. Y'all touch something and you start being the creators of it. Somebody have an idea and you take the ball and you run with it. Oh, yeah. Am I lying? Somebody said, oh yeah. She take the idea. He might say, honey, you know, I'm thinking we should go on a trip. She said, shh, you know what we're gonna go? What we're gonna do? I'm gonna do I'm gonna So don't worry. Next, next, next March, we're gonna go, we're gonna crew, uh, go to Africa. Am I lying? Production people. And Kusua. Yes. Or sometimes called Mommy Essie. Right. You choose. We wrote a Kusua, but you are a Kusua Essie. Okay? Clap for y'all, production people. Continuing in the vein of the production people calling upon Demetra Green, another production person. Y'all got producers. Y'all got producers. Production. Producers. No, wait a minute, y'all. Demetra Green, what work do you do? I am an education teacher. Whoa, producing the children, raising, yeah. what level? God, I just said children. I didn't know. You raising the minds of children? I am. We need you most of all. You are molding our children. And all this miseducation through these public school systems that we know that they're committing upon us. I know you are one of those ones that you pull them aside and you say, you go read this book and you go get exactly. this book. Exactly. I already can tell. Look at her features. Yeah. Look like Queen Nefertiti. Come on now. Turn to the side, sister. You can see it. See the it. side profile. Am I talking? Y'all know the image of Queen Nefertiti? Sister, do like this one time for the camera. Queen Nefertiti, y'all! <laughs> and you know who she was? She was the first queen that brought beauty among the queens because she was so beautiful. And she showed, she showed the African queens how to style themselves with makeup and beauty. The picture that they show y'all that a European Queen Nefertiti is not what Nefertiti looked like. Queen Nefertiti looked like this. All right, guys. Yeah. Give it up for Akusawa. Production, y'all. A teacher, educator, raising the fifth graders up. Acheo, Yami Shao. Yolanda Brown coming up and receive your name, Yolanda. We already said earlier, people born on Tuesday have been uh, a place, a foundation for the house to sit on. These are the people that are strong backbone. The house stands on your shoulders. You got grandchildren? Yes. How many grandchildren? Two. Two grandchildren. Looking for more. And they should be able to do because they got a strong foundation. How many children? Three. Three children. Out of those three, they got you two so far. Mm -hmm. And now that you have come over to West Africa and you get your name, you got to let them know that you the foundation and you got their back. 
And I know you probably raising them grandchildren. No. But they with, they love their grandma. Raise the mom and I told them how to raise their own children. That's, that's what we supposed to do. That's what's up. I'm sorry that I got it misconstrued because you, the grandma, is raising the children, and yeah. then we know our work never ends. But you already raised the children. That's a real mother. A real foundation teaches you how to do the legacy and pass it on to the others. That's my mother. Ashe, Ashe. Oh, and you the house on the oh no, get out of here, get out of here. Come on, y'all. Y'all gonna make me tear up. I keep talking. I talk too much. The foundation with the house on top of it. Raising the children because moms took, come on, y'all can't write no script. We, we are having moments in divine synchronicity. I didn't know y'all, but it sounds like I might have heard a secret and know that you're the mother, you're the daughter, but I didn't. I tell the camera. This is how divine synchronicity and the spirit of our ancestors talk through us, is talking to me. This is why I told you that before I did this, we had to send the priest to the shrine to imbue me. When I sit on the stool, it's not just a stool, but the ancestors start talking to me. So I can't say this again tomorrow. And I only know tonight I can say it because you all are here to witness it. You all are a part of it. Our, our grandmother, sister, queen mother, Abena. Get a watch it. Clap for her, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And the daughter, the house. Yeah. Go home to the house on the land. Yeah. Yeah. Can't beat that. I say you. Everybody already knew that the queen mothers and the females, the women, the mothers are the foundation because that's why we call this Mother Earth, don't we? We call it Mother Nature, don't we? We got another person that is also the foundation of us all, the foundation of families. It's Catrice Robinson. <laughs> Beautiful sister Abena, a foundation. A land is a place. Bina, it means a place. And you are a foundation that your family stands on your shoulders. Oh my God, exactly, yes. yes. <laughs> Am I telling the truth? Yes, you are. And sometimes you 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 you, you want to shake it off, but you know my damn nerve. <laughs> It is your lot in life because the creative forces never give you nothing more than you can handle. And I know that I can look at you, and this is probably an excursion that you was able to get away and say, you're doing this for yourself. And they wonder, well, how long are you going to be gone? Oh, yeah. And what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And you, you, you gave them orders. You said, mm -hmm. you make sure you have this covered and don't mess up because I'm going to be gone for this one. But I'm going with Brother Bomani to the African for African tours and I'll be back. When I get back, everything better be in order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the foundation. Abena, y'all, clap for her. different one and this one is gonna be by surprise our first call Gwendolyn Warren up Woo! clap for Gwendolyn I'm not surprised at all 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 Ama is Saturday born now watch what we're about to say Watch what we're about to say. There's a little Amazola over there. That's, that's, why, why, she, that's why she's happy. <laughs> Y'all watch how beautiful it's good. It just gets better and better. What happened on the day of creation on Saturday is this. Saturday is, if Sunday is the first day, Saturday will be what? The last day. Now, if the last day came, what would the creative forces say? I'm complete. I'm done. How did you already knew that? She's an elder, okay. It means on Saturday the creative forces said this. I am done 
I'm fulfilled and I'm satisfied with all my work. So here in Ghana, West Africa, if, if somebody asks you, if you eat a food and they say, well, I'm me, and you say, I'm me, I'm my, I'm fine, I'm full. She's saying, I am full, I'm satisfied, and I am done with the work that I have done in my life. I am satisfied. And it says, a master. That means at the end when you are full, I have mastered what I need to done to do. I'm full, I'm satisfied. You are satisfied with your life. You are young, you are beautiful. You look like a person that can do whatever you want to do because you don't have nothing else to do because you have done what you need to do. These are people born on Saturday. They are content with what they have. They don't chase nobody, they don't chase no dreams. They don't need anything else because they are satisfied. People born on Saturday is the day of completion. And you said it, you are completion. You are looking at a goddess in front of you. That is why we recognized her when y'all first came in here, that this is the sister that is leading us all. You are complete, you are satisfied, you are full. And the only thing that you love to do is whatever it is that you want to do. You've done what you need to do. Yes. Yes. We will ask y'all all to quiet yourselves and we ask for our sister, Amma, the completion, the satisfaction, to share with us an expression of what can lead us to also be able to be like you, Ma. To. I go. Amen. God, I give the glory. In life, one must learn to be satisfied with little and satisfied with a lot and to be anxious for not. One must learn to be content. When one is content, there comes peace. When there's no rush, no hurry, and no hasten to be like anyone just to meditate and be with your higher power and listen more to him, to walk by faith and not by sight. Then we know it's going to be all right. Yes, yes, yes. Give God the yes, yes. 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 Sister Amma. Yes. Get a lesson. Get a lesson. Monday born. Oh, well, find out where we are. Come on, get some information. Me and Kujo want to know. Finally, we come to Donald Morgan. that we organize the most elder to be the foremost, the most esteemed gentleman here to be the last hour. Y'all might think we organized it that way, but I didn't put this in order. The ambassador didn't put it in order. He handed it to me, I shuffled through it, and I didn't know the ages of anybody because it's not on here. But yet, it would only be proper that the most esteemed elder gentleman will sum it up. He is also born on Wednesday, the, I'm sorry, Sunday. on Sunday, which is the, the day of creation that God came down and started the production work. And I already said it, and I can't talk long because the elder don't need a lot of talking. We don't have to sing his because it's already been sung. I recognize when I'm in the presence of an elder that elders do not like to be expounded upon. They just want to be gentle and humble beings. 
However, we are in the land of your natural ancestral inheritance, Elder. And just as our most esteemed sister had the opportunity, we just beg you, me paucho, and ask you, Brother Quasi, or Papa Quasi, born on Sunday, to give us an expression of wisdom and guidance that we know that we are under your wings and you have experienced so much. And now in the land of our natural ancestral inheritance, please, if we could ask you to share some wisdom upon us, Brother Quasi. I go! My sisters, my brothers, peace be unto you. Let love reign every day. I shall. You can't say no That's more than that. Message. It's all about love. Right. It's all about love. Clap for our brother. Clap for Quasi. Clap for Quasi. What a what a way to sum it up. It's all this is all love, isn't it? It's all love. That's why I said the elders don't gotta say by it. Summed it up. It's all about love when we do what we do. Look at the family homecoming love circle. We're getting to know ourselves. Look at the youth around us still hanging all this time. Look at the children still with us. All here to witness your homecoming. And it's all about the love that we have for one another. Let's continue to carry that, Papa Quasi. Let us continue to exhibit the love that we have, even when y'all travel to and fro, look at each other. And I know it's difficult with these times that we're in because people are getting <laughs> crazy. Human beings are going <laughs> off. But let us still be able to find and look at each other's faces without even words, just express love. That frequency is more than you can imagine. Asheo, if anybody else have any expressions that they would like to say at this time, we open the floor for the family circle to anybody that would like to say something and express whatever it is that they want to express. If they didn't get a chance to speak, now is the opportunity to speak. Well, yeah. definitely appreciate your knowledge of that. This was excellent connection. Our ambassador, Brother Bomani, is always the key component to bring these family members together. So I would like, I think I had a chance to tell y'all how we express that. We have a saying here that we say, Aiko! Y'all remember the expression? My soldiers, where you at? Aiko! Aiko! Y'all hear them, right? So we would like to express that frequency on our ambassador, Brother Bomani. If I could get us all to do that together, when I say Aiko, your response is Ya Ye. On behalf of our African ambassador here at One Africa, the work that you do, we continue to ask that the ancestors, the highways and the skyways and the byways open up to you. We call upon the powerful ancestors of positivity to protect, to guide, to secure you always so that you can continue to do your ambassadorship of bringing more African souls home and turning them to gold and letting them have this experience. Brother, we say to you, the work that you are doing, Aiko! 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 We are done.